identify the number. This is one. Go for next. And it is four. Go ahead for next number. And it is three. So if you have identified all these numbers correctly, so congratulations, you are not colorblind. Today in this session, we are going to study about sex-linked gene. In this sex-linked gene, non-homologous gene in sex chromosome in human, which refer the type of characteristics which are more common in one gender as compared to another gender. For example, the color blindness or the baldness. So these sex linked genes are present in 23rd pair of chromosome in human, which describe the primary sexual characteristics. So all these primary sexual characteristic information is present on 23rd pair of chromosome. So we are going to study this 23rd pair of chromosome. These are called sex chromosome. These sex chromosomes are two X-like structure present in female, while in male, there's one is X and one is Y-like structure. So the gene which are the present on X chromosome, which are not present on Y chromosome, these are non-homologous gene. So these non-homologous gene, so which are not present on the Y chromosome, so they are appearing for X-linked character. So these characters are more common in one gender as compared to another gender. Why? Because they are not present in Y chromosome. In the same way, the region in the Y, so which is having one specific character, so these genes are called Y-linked gene. So while the SRY type of the gene, which give the information for formation of male gender. So today we are going to emphasize on non-homologous gene. So one example for non-homologous gene, uh, which are causing a disease that is called red-green blindness. Now this red-green blindness, the normal vision for green color is normal green, while the normal vision for red color is a normal red. But if there is a red-green blind, so the green cone cells are absent from the retina, and this will give us the blended color between yellow and green. While the yellow color will produce a normal, while the red color will be also blended between red and yellow. So in this way, the person who is suffering by red-green blind, blindness by defective allele or homozygous recessive conditions, so this person won't able to differentiate between red and green color. So in this way, these people are not allowed for a driving license or for to be a pilot, while they can enjoy their other daily life activities as well. So here, we are going to see the sex linkage trait that is present on homologous 23rd pair of chromosome. So these are non-homologous genes. Now these non-homologous genes, one is capital H is a dominant while the lowercase h is a recessive. So what are different type of uh, genotype might possible in human? For example, is a homozo homozygous, that is a one type is possible for female, and a female can be heterozygous, and a female can be homozygous recessive. While the male, it's only present on X, and while it's not present on Y. While in the same way, the male can may have the capital H, and male may have the lowercase h. Now in this way, the phenotypic reserve, if the female is homozygous dominant, this will be normal color visions. While female is heterozygous, although it contain a lowercase edge with defective allele, but the female will be normal with carrier. So this carrier means the female will have a normal color visions, while the female with a homozygous recessive, so this female will suffer by red-green blindness. The male with a normal allele edge can be a normal, 
while the male, if there's only one lowercase edge defective allele is present, male will be red, green, blind. So there is no carrier or heterozygous condition in male. Why? Because this allele is not present on Y chromosome. So that is why it is called X-linked gene. So that's why it is more common in male as compared to female. So we're gonna see some example. Uh, for example, if the father is normal and if the mother is red, green, blind. So in these conditions, so father is gonna produce a two different type of the gamete. One is the X chromosome with the capital H, while the Y chromosome do not contain this allele, while the mother is producing the single type of the gamete with X chromosome with a lowercase edge. So we're going to see that F1 generations in their cross by Punnett scare. So one side, we're going to put the male gamete, while another side, the female gamete. Now, the egg with the X chromosome with the lowercase edge can go with the capital H of the sperm and produce carrier. So while the X with the lowercase edge has a probability to go with the sperm Y and it produce male with a red green blind. Here, the X with the lowercase edge can go with the capital H and produce carrier female, while the X can go with the Y and that will produce male with the red green blind. If we calculate the phenotypic result in these conditions, so two out of four heterozygous female carrier with the normal color visions, while two out of four male with a defective allele red green blind. So in this way, the result we can see in overall in F1 generations, that is 50-50% result. But if you calculate the gender-based result, for example, in, in female only, 100% female will be carrier with the normal color visions, while 100% male will be red-green blind in a conditions if the mother is red-green blind. We're going to see another example here. So in this another example, the male is red green blind while the female is normal. So if the father is defective with the red green blindness while the mother is normal. Now father will produce two different type of the gamete. So the X chromosome with the lowercase edge defective allele while the mother will produce both allele are normal uh, with the both gametes are normal with the normal allele capital H. We're going to calculate F1 generations by the Punnett scare. Now, in this way, the capital H can go with the lowercase edge, and this will produce a carrier. And in the same way, the capital H allele can go with a Y sperm, and this is going to produce a normal male. And in the same way, the second capital H can go with a lowercase H, that will produce carrier, while the capital H can go with a Y sperm, and this is going to produce a normal male. If you calculate their phenotypic result, so the two out of four heterozygous female carrier, while two out of four male with the dominant allele, so they will be normal. So if in this conditions, no one is going to be red, uh, green, blind. So in this condition, if the male is not red, green, blind, if the father is a red, green, blind, while the mother is normal, so the all will be normal. So all the male are going to be normal and all the female are going to be carrier. There is no chance of the red, green, blind complete uh, in F1 generations, but all female will be carrier. They have potential to transfer this defective allele to their offspring. We're going to see another relationship. For example, the male is a red green blind and the female is carrier. So if the mother is heterozygous while the father is red green blind. So here the father is producing two different type of gamete, X gamete with a lowercase edge, while the mother is producing heterozygous condition, one gamete with a normal allele, second gamete with defective allele. We can calculate this uh, the result in F1 generations by the Punnett scare here. So in this way, one side we're gonna put the sperm, another side we're gonna put egg, and in this way they're gonna fertilize together and produce the following results. Now in this result, if we calculate this result, so in this way, uh, the one out of four female are carrier, while one out of four, the will, female will be red, green, blind. So if we calculate in a female, so 50% female are carrier and 50% female are red, green, blind. 
while if we calculate one of the four male are normal while one of the four male are red green blind so in this way there's more diversified research here now we're going to see another example if there's a male is normal while the female is carrier so if the mother is heterozygous while the father is normal. Now here, the father will produce two different types of gamete, one with the X, while there is a Y, while the X contain normal allele, while the mother will produce two different types of gamete. Now here, one gamete with X chromosome, normal allele, while another gamete with the X chromosome, there's defective allele. We're gonna calculate F1 generations by the Punnett scale. Now in this way, the, the X uh, the egg from X chromosome, capital H, can go with the capital H, they're going to produce normal. Now, X with the capital H can go with a sperm, and this is going to produce normal. So here, the X with the defective allele go with the capital and produce carrier, while in a Y, it's going to produce a red-green blind. So if we calculate the possibility in female, the one out of four female are normal, one out of four female will be carrier with the normal visions, while one out of four male with the normal, while one out of four male with the red green blind. So in this way, uh, if the mother is heterozygous while the father is normal, so the possibility in F1 generations will be 25% will be red, green, blind. If we calculate this possibility in only male, so there will be 50% will be red, green, blind, and will be male. But if we calculate this possibility in all offspring, male and female, so there are the chance like one out of four, or we can say 25% male will be red, green, blind. We got this idea. We are moving toward the type of questions might possible relevant to this idea. What is inheritance of color blindness as an example of? That is sex linkage gene. You're right. We are heading to the next question. Uh, now, this is a more complicated type of questions. You're supposed to uh, plot the cross here. The diagram show the sex chromosome of a woman and a man. And there is a genotype for the recessive sex linkage conditions. Now, this way, recessive sex linkage conditions, A is a dominant allele, while the lowercase a is a recessive allele. And the chromosomes are given, this is 23rd pair of chromosome. In female are both X, while in male, these are the X and Y. And this allele is not present on Y chromosome. Now here, female will produce two different type of the gamete with a capital A and lowercase a, while the male will produce two different one type of uh, the gamete with the X chromosome with a lowercase a defective allele, while Y chromosome do not contain this. So we're going to calculate this result uh, in a rough place. And for example, we're going to put the two different type of sperm, one sperm with the X with a lowercase allele and one sperm with a Y chromosome. While the two different type of the egg, one egg with a capital A and other egg with a lowercase a. Now this capital A can go with a lowercase a and this will produce carrier female. Now this X with a capital A can go with the lowercase and with it with go with the, the Y chromosome. So it, it's gonna produce normal male. Well, here the X with the lowercase a can go with the lowercase a that's gonna produce red green blind. And here that will produce the red green blind the male. So, but here in the question, examiner is asking what are the chances that their daughter will show the sex linkage conditions. So we're gonna calculate only the daughter. So here, if you calculate the daughter for the sex linkage conditions, so in this way, one daughter is normal while another is a red green blind. So the result is 50-50%. So we can say the percentage of daughter to be red green blind is 50%. Now in this question, most of the students get deceived and they are calculating the result on the basis of overall generations. So in this way, if we calculate the overall generations for daughter, so this result is coming 25%, but in question, examiner is asking only daughter. So if we calculate from female, so there is a one female is normal and other female is normal with the carrier, while other female is a red, green, blind. So the result is 50-50%.
We're going to see that some structured type of questions might be possible. For example, if there are the two parents, one parent is uh, the male with the capital B, the normal allele, while the female is a homozygous recessive colorblind. So we're going to see that the first examiner is asking to, to write their parents' gamete and their offspring genotype and their offspring phenotype and their probability that the baby is going to be colorblind. So if we see that if these are two, the chromosome, they will get separate from each other. So during the gamete formations, so that each gamete will receive one from them. So the one gamete is receiving the X with a capital B allele, while the Y chromosome, so while in a female, uh, is producing two gametes with the same type. Why? Because it is a homozygous recessive. So the one gamete will receive the, the X chromosome with B allele homozygous with, with B allele recessive. So in this way, the X chromosome with the capital B can go with the X chromosome with the lowercase b and it produce heterozygous in conditions. In the same way, there's a pro probability the X chromosome from sperm can fertilize with the egg with the lowercase b, and this will produce heterozygous in conditions. While the Y can go with the lowercase b, and it also can go with another lowercase b, and this will produce the result, the heterozygous carrier female, and that's going to produce the result, that's are the carrier female, and here we have the colorblind male, and the colorblind male. So here, the questions, the probability that the baby is colorblind. So this baby is going to be colorblind. So here, the baby, the gender is not mentioned for male and female. So we are supposed to calculate the, the baby from overall F1 generations. So if we calculate from overall the F1 generation, so the colorblind male is the two out of four. So two are colorblind out of four. So this will become 50% result. Here we got idea about sex linked trait or sex linked gene, which is based on the 23rd pair of uh, the chromosomes. So hope you got idea and it will be beneficial for you if you feel any problems. So I'll advise you so to go through the, another video related to the basic terminology of inheritance. If you need further topic relevant, so you can also advise in the comment box, it will be most welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.